My name is Stanley and welcome to the first episode. Today, I will share with you my custom building process. Now, at the time, I didn't record the build process, but I took over a thousand pictures. So, I put all of them together and I will guide you through each section one by one. So, let's jump to the first section. I trimmed the top part of Thorax arm a little bit using old paper hobby knife and then clean further with them far so you can actually move around. Next, I want to add a lower torso weight articulation to the scale. So, I slide a ball joint, a poly cap, and a holder in between Babato's inner frame and its lower ball joint. I also start detailing the inner frame with plug plates. After that, I further detail the torso with plug plates and some scraps. Because I trimmed short the Barbatos torso inner frame, I had to move the connector for the pistons. So now I have to modify the piston itself. Next, I start detailing the lower torso with armor pieces from Grey Swabble. Because I want the armor piece to be removable, I scratch build a slider that I will cement it. This way, I can just slide off the armor when I want to paint it. Since this piece of armor is just flat, I need a few pieces of flat plates to hold it in place. On this section, I bash the next spy armor and also start detailing it with pockets. Instead of modifying the new tie armor, I decided to combine it with the top part of my poster. The top plate is where the new tie armor will sit.
to trim both armors a little bit because it was clashing with the inner frame. I want to fill the gaps here with something, so I use some more parts from Green Swabble. I use this thigh armor to create a same plate to detail the inner side of the new thigh armor. Since this piece fits nicely to the back side of the tie, I decided to go with it. Next is the side armor of the tie. What I did was I combined both connectors so the side armor can attach directly to the leg armor. This is how I align the armor pieces while this man is curing. time, this was the best way I can think of to cut a plot plate with a curve by using the armor piece as a guide. I want this thruster to replace the heel. The plot plate will give the connection more strength and stability. how I move the connector to the inner frame. Next, I need to combine this inner frame. This way, the heel can move to some extent. Next, I embedded the connector for 3rd backpack to Barbados backpack. I need some extra space, so I trim the inner side a little bit. Using this method, I can remove half a mil from the bottom of the part. After 
that, I bash and extend the tail with the red sock. I want the tail to have articulation, so I took a few ball joints with its polycaps and its container. I trimmed and modified this armor piece so it can sit at an angle on the back side of the waist. I need to combine all these connectors to the inner frame. Then I detail it with some armor pieces. Then, I want to use the axis legs as the new side skirt. The plan was to use this original connector. But it was flimsy, so I had to use a different connector. In this section, I give this kit a new pair of shoulders.
this was me testing some ideas on how to combine the shoulder. Because I wasn't getting the look that I wanted, I used a different part to connect the shoulder. Next, I have this crazy idea to turn the maze into a real gun. to cement the connector to this pop. I didn't like how the backside of the shoulder looks like, so I changed the connection between the shoulder parts. Slide a couple of rings made from plow plate inside the arm inner frame so it's stronger and more stable. Next is the side skirt arm monitoring process. I'm going to hide the connection with this armor piece. I didn't like how the tail looked like, so I decided to redo the detail.
because I want to remove the seam line on the tail, I need to make a few C joints. Last section, I detail the legs with some plot plates. I hope you learned new tricks on this episode, and if you have any questions, just leave them on the comment section. So, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you get notified when I upload the next episode.